a liposome improves the absorption. I talked about that. Dosage can be much bigger. The cost is much less, and it is convenient. But I want you to remember that if you have a true liposome, you have to be very, very, very small. You can't take vitamin C that you buy on the normal market and make a liposomal vitamin C out of it. Now you have a liposome that will go through the gut, requiring no digestion, enter the bloodstream, absorb preferentially by the cell, and you will have true cell food and taken orally. You have to go to a doctor. Many doctors have said to me, after using this, and we gave a lot of it away to begin with, I can't believe it. You are getting vitamin C absorption of over 90% orally when that has never been able to be done except by IV. Nutrition is going here. And I am very, very proud to say that you truly, truly have at this time a, main, a means of doing yourself some good by using nutrition properly if you have an absorption problem. This is what happens to the liposomes after they're taken in the body. Liposomes, remember, are phospholipids. Did you hear that? Yeah. Phospholipids are a combination, basically, of phosphorus and a fat. And that's what our cell wall is made up of. And the reason that phospholipids are so good in liposomes is that they are used by the cell wall to rebuild itself. An example of the best phospholipid I can think of, lecithin. That's a liposome carrier if properly handled. Absorption is the biggest problem in nutritional supplementation today. We can absorb 5%, 10%, 20% of the nutrient we take in. I give Clinton Miller six or seven grams of vitamin C orally, and what happens? Diarrhea. Why? If he gets diarrhea, obviously he isn't absorbing it. Am I right? It's in the gut. It's holding water, and it produces diarrhea. The gut only will absorb a small amount of vitamin C. And we have to give the rest of it if we want to. As an example, I remember way back when a man had an infected finger, the infected finger infected the hand, infected the arm, he had a huge arm. All the antibiotics in the world couldn't help him. We said, please give him some vitamin C. The doctor said, no, that won't help at all. He said, I want some. Came to the hospital, and we started him out on 50 grams of vitamin C the first day. Second day, we gave him 100 grams of vitamin C. On the third day, the swelling was down by over 50%. And anyway, he ended up healed by vitamin C.